um, you want to raise a Kabuto or Kabutops or an Anamite to Amistar, that's good. I mean, they make okay Pokemon. They, they, I think they're Water and Rock though, so they're four times weak to Grass type Pokemon, and they're um super. They're they don't they're weak against Electric type Pokemon too. Oh, you should get Mega Kick. Oh, that's what I'm gonna get. I'm gonna actually get two of these. I'm gonna actually get both these um um uh moves actually. It punches Rolling Ferocity, packed with Destructive Power, with chips. With the chips, are, when the chips are down, Mega Punch is the ultimate attack. Um, do you agree? Yes. Well, now let me teach it to your Pokemon. This move can only be learned once. Is that okay? Yes. I'll teach it to. I'll teach it to, th to Thunder for Mega Punch. I'm gonna teach Mega Kick to uh, Blaster, my Swirt Turtle. So Mega Punch, what move should be forgotten? Let's get rid of Tail Whip. There we go. One, two, and poof. Thunder forgot how to use Tail Whip, and Thunder learned Mega Mach Punch. Or not Mach Punch, but Mega Punch. So yeah, now that we are comrades in the way of punching, you should go before you've seen... You should go before you've seen... By, before you're seen by the misguided fool who trains only his silly kicking over there. Well, yeah. So yeah, let's talk to him anyway. A kick is a brutal ferocity. Packed with a destructive power. When you get down to right down to it, Mega Kick is the ultimate attack. Don't you agree? Okay, I'll teach you to Pokemon. This make it only be one once. Is that okay? Yes. Who should learn it? Of course, Blaster. Blaster and Pikachu that one actually two that can learn this TM or move, I should say, by the move tutor. So yeah, which one should be forgotten? Let's see here. Let's get rid of. Let's get rid of the withdrawal. One, two, and poof. Blast to figure out how to use withdrawal and blast to win make a kick. Okay, cool. Okay, now we are soulmates in the way of kicking. You should run before you've seen by that deluded network who trains only simple punching over there. They're trying to troll each other. They're trying to be mean to each other. They're trying to be boys to each other. Is there anything over here? I don't think so. You know? Okay. So down here is actually a berry if I can get to it. It's a little dark spot on the ground again. Or a darker spot, I should say, than the other spots on the ground. That's a raspberry, so that's cool. Okay. There we go. So it's over here is TMO5 Roar. It's there if you want to pick it up and you teach it to Pokemon. It basically is like a whirlwind, where it'll where your Pokemon will use it and it roars at the Pokemon, a wild encounter, or maybe a trainer battle. And either if you're playing against the other trainer, the Pokemon will switch out to different Pokemon. And if you're playing in the wild, fighting Pokemon in the wild as a wild Pokemon, then it'll be, um, you'll just, it'll flood in fear and then you'll be done with the battle sequence for that wild encounter. So let's say if you want it. Up there is a last with I think a Paris and a Parasect, but uh, we can't get to it yet. Now it's important that you get a Paris. I didn't. Did I get a Paris? No, I didn't. I should go back and get a Paris because Paris makes um a good HM slave for Cut and Flash. Let me do that real quick. Hopefully, we can run into one. So as we didn't run into one, just um we may have run into one or something. I don't know. Let me go back into Mount Moon. Because it's important that you have a at least a Paris, because it knows cut, it can learn cut, and it can learn um, flash as well. So let's hope we can find it. Hopefully it's in this area. Ah, uh, there we go. First encounter. Okay. This cry sounds like a legendary Pokemon, like Mewtwo's cry or something. It's kind of weird. Let's just quick attack on it. There we go. Perfect health for it to be catchable. Let's use a bag and go. To, let's go to bag. I mean, not use a bag and use the Pokeball. Yeah, we're gonna use a Pokeball, not a bag. There we go. One, two, three, and there we go. Nice. We caught the Paris. Paris data was added to the Pokedex. That's number 46 in the Pokedex. Paris, uh, mushroom Pokemon. Uh, it, uh, it's one foot tall. Or, or it's yeah, it's one feet, it's one foot tall. I should say it weighs 11.9 pounds. It has a little tiny print friend that's going diagonally. Um, growing uh, out of, growing out of the bugs back are mushrooms that are called um, Tashu Kazo. The mushrooms grow with the big host. The mushrooms grow with the big, the, with the bug host. Yeah, I'm not sure how to pronounce that T word correctly. Tosh, Tok, Hu, Kazo. I don't. I'm bad with pronunciations. Sorry, guys. I'm gonna give. I'm gonna give this Paris a nickname. I, okay, X if has B or uh, no. I, I actually didn't give it a name, so it's gonna be Paris. So I uh, will just keep Paris name as Paris then. <laughs> I guess that's okay. 
And I won't be using it as on my team, so just to let you know. So, yeah. Getting my buttons mixed up. So make sure that you always caught a Paris. You got the um, two Moonstones from Mount Moon. Because after you jump over this ledge or over this ledge, if you jump over this ledge, it's going to be a wild Pokemon. Uh, it's going to be tall grass area, a tall grass area. But once you've jumped over this ledge, you won't be able to go to Mount Moon or... You might, uh, okay, um, you might not use Paris, um, I could for my grass type, um, I might actually use my Paris, but, hmm, hmm, I don't know, I was thinking about using a different grass type, but I've never actually used the Paris to uh, play through, so I might use Paris for my team actually, thanks for, um, um, you know, pon helping me ponder with that. Um, Aurora, Aurora, um, so yeah, so I can't pronounce your name that well, so can I just call you big, uh, can I just call you A, or, 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 I don't even know how to pronounce your name, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry I don't know how to pronounce your name on Twitch, okay, so I might as well use Paris on my team, I'm actually gonna just keep it like in Paris then, for, in Paris like when it evolves, I mean, I think that, it might, I mean, I, it'd be interesting. I told I told this before in this live stream session that grass type. Okay, so Paris is actually four times weak to fire type Pokemon and flying type moves, I guess, and fire type Pokemon and fire type moves specifically, moves in general. Um, but um, I'm gonna try to see if I can be very strategic with it. So yeah, I'm excited to use Paris actually because I've never actually used a Paris in any of my in any of my playthroughs of playing this game. But here we are in Cerulean City. You can't go back to um, Pewter City or Mount Moon for a while now. So make sure you have everything you need, everything you, yeah, everything, um, yeah. I should have caught two Parises though. Or maybe I can catch like a Bell Sprout because I think Bell Sprout can win Flash and, um, you know. Uh, flash and cut, but I remembered I'm playing Pokemon Fire Red. It's not Leaf Green, so like the version exclusive Grass type in Pokemon Fire Red is an Oddish, then evolves into Gloom and then Vile Boom by Leaf Stone. So I don't know. What's uh, Paris has mushrooms I think on it. I held out him with mushrooms, tiny mushroom. I'll just take that from Paris. Um, take and let's move this right here. And let's switch you two. And let's switch you two. It's like, I like how Paris is like, uh, Paris when it evolves into Parasect will be like my only Pokemon team member without a nickname. Although you guys can pick up, you guys can think of a nickname too for Paris. So, I don't know. You guys could do that, but Lavender Town is where we can nickname our Pokemon if we accidentally didn't nickname our Pokemon. So. Yeah. If we can find another grass type that can win to cut and flash. Oh, what you make? Th what what you make think of Chelsea? Uh, for the nickname for my um, for my Rata. Um, I thought of well, I was gonna use a Rata on my team originally. So I th it was if it was gonna be a female, I was gonna name it Chelsea. If it was gonna be a male when I caught it, or a male Rata. When I ran into it and called it, it'd be named Charlie, but um, it's it was a female, so I just came up with the female um name of Chelsea. Then it's really weird, but it works. This guy right here will talk to you about the seven or not, not the seven gems, but the eight gems, and how, like how like um the second badge, the Cascade badge, will allow you have it to have Pokemon that'll obey you up to level thirty, even traded ones, stuff like that. But I didn't know all that, so, and the, the gym ways tell you after you beat them in battle, or in a gym battle, so, we don't have to really talk to them really much. But there, it's, it's there for if you're a beginner at the game, or if you're new to the game and don't know how to, how everything really works with the whole badge system. Here's the cycling road shop, or not cycling road shop, bike shop. We talked to the clerk right here. Hi, welcome to the, our bike shop. Here, we just, we got the bike just for you. Over here, have we got just the bike for you. There we go, I said it right that time. So yeah, sure. Sorry, you can't afford it. Thank you, come again sometime. Well, you saw the bike was a million Poké Dollars, and the max money you can have in this game for Pokémon Fire Red and Leaf Green, and basically a lot, a lot of Pokémon games, like up until probably like X and Y, where they made a million Poké Dollars, finally. Um, yeah, it's, yeah. 
Oh, how, a million? How will I get that bike? Um, there's actually a bike voucher we can get in Vermilion City, but we're not in Vermilion City. Vermilion City is the, the um, place after this city, so we're in City, so that's where we get our third, th third gym badge. So, um, yeah. Yeah. And, um, this is where we get our second gym badge in Vermilion City. Okay, the people here were robbed. That's sad. It's obvious that Team Rocket is behind this most heinous crime. Even our, even our police voices, our police voice has trouble with the rockets. Yeah, that's kind of sad. Up here is your third rival battle. Or maybe second battle. Second rival battle if you didn't do that second optional battle. That was optional. So... Yeah. Let's see. Hmm. I'll keep Paris up front, but I'm gonna switch out. So here is Gary. Gary Oak. Yo, Gordel. You're still struggling along back here? I'm, I'm doing great. I caught a bunch of strong and smart Pokemon. Here, let me see what you caught, Gordel. Okay, okay. That's cool, Gary. You caught some strong, smart Pokemon. Good for you. Good for you. Okay, this is a bad disaster. What moves does Paris know? Okay, she, she knows, um, t Scratch. Okay. Well, maybe I should have switched, uh, put a Blaster up front, but I don't know. Because Blaster knows Mega Kick, and Mega Kick's like 120 power, but like 75% accuracy. Let's use Mega Kick. Okay, yeah, Mega Kick. I was just switching my moves around. Boom! Okay, send attack. Dang it. Now we can make a kick hit again. But it missed last turn, but that's okay. Okay, so, so Pidgeot is just gonna use Gust again. And we'll use Water Gun. Oh, it missed. Are you kidding me? Cassandra attack? Dang it. Okay, hold on. I got one chance at this. I'm not gonna use a heal on him. Oh, of course it's gonna do quick attack like that. Jeez. Okay, fine. If you want, if you want to be like that, I can just send out my Pikachu and just quick attack. But then again, Pidgeotto might be, um, you know, faster. Okay, never mind. Thunder might have been faster. I like Gary. He's a cool rival. Oh yeah, he's cool and all. Yeah. Paris degree level seven. Paris learns Stunts Boy. Thunder also gained twenty two hundred five experience points. Thunder degree level thirteen. Cool. Rats, uh huh. What I'm gonna do is, um, I'm gonna thunder wave it to paralyze it. I'm gonna see how much thunder shock does in the next turn. Let's see if they get paralyzed. Yep, it's paralyzed. Uh, rat his rat tail can't move. So thunder shock. Thunder shock again. I want to go for the Mega Punch. Yeah, there we go. You're, you're paralyzed. Taha. And Mega Punch will hit. There we go. The Rattata will go down. Oh, Gary's your favorite Pokemon rival? Roy. That's cool. Okay, so here's another Pokemon. This will hopefully be the Abra. Now, Abra is level 16, and it could be a Kadabra, but, you know, Gary was being silly and pressed the B button by accident, trying when Abra tried to evolve into Kadabra at level 16, when it reached level 16. So, yeah, I think this Abra might have the ability to synchronize, which if I paralyze it with Thunder Wave, I get paralyzed too, because whatever happen whatever status condition happens to Abra, who has, the, as long as they have the ability to synchronize, that the same status infliction, like born, like um, poison, burn, sweep, or paralysis, and all that, so will happen right back at you. So I'm gonna stay smart, and I'm gonna try to. Well, Thunder Shock could faint it, or not faint it, but like, well, I wanted to faint it, but Thunder Shock might paralyze it too, so that's the same thing. As being paralyzed uh, as well. If that makes any sense? Let's just make a punch though. Like, okay, yeah, I forgot. I forgot. Abra only knows teleports, so this is like easy experience. So she's just quick attack until it faints. That's kind of sad though. I'm gonna use quick attack on my rival's Abra until it faints. Because teleport, it'll always fail, because it doesn't work in a trainer battle. There we go. 
Okay, one more Pokemon. It's uh, Sentry, I think. Oh, no, it's the Bulbasaur. I forgot about the starter Pokemon, of course. Let's go for the Thunder Wave. And so it's paralyzed, at least. Line Whip. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. Yeah. Okay. So, let's go to Fear Me, then. attack again I guess one more peck should do it probably two more pecks just to be safe oh there's that poison powder it's gonna poison my fear me I should say it's gonna poison fear me peck attack there we go and Bulbasaur goes down wait if you arrive Gary hey take it easy you won already yeah I know Hey, guess what? I went to I went to, I went to Bill and he got him to show me his rare Pokemon. That added a lot of pages of of my that added a lot of pages to my Pokedex. After all, Bill's world famous as a Pokemaniac. He invented the Pokemon storage system too, a storage system on PC too. Since you're using his system, you should go thank him. Well, I better get rolling. Smell you later. I don't I don't want you to smell like me, Gary. Oh, who, what's my, who's my favorite gym? And Kanto, um, I kind of always like Blaine of Cinnabar Island. He's the user of fire type Pokemon. And he's always like, you better have burn heal. <laughs> and I was like, I have full heals, man. <laughs> Just one up in him. Oh, right. Oh, yeah, right. I feel sorry for you. No, really. You're always plotting behind me. That's not sh Well, you program- Gary, you are programmed in the video game to be always ahead of me. When I went to a gym and go to the statue, it says- went it says like, for example, Peter's city, uh, Peter's gym leader, leader Brock, Gary. And every time I go to a new gym, you're always been in the gym before me. So you're programmed to go ahead of me or be ahead of me at all times. So it's in your programming, man. It's just a prank, bro. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I feel f okay. I already said that. I already said that part. So here's a little gift. Here's a little present as for. So here I'll give you a little present as a favor. See, when I talk, when I take it slow on reading dialogue, I actually do it fairly well. But when I try to rush through it, it doesn't turn out so good. We get the fame checker. I try to gossip like you. That thing's perfect. I don't need it because I don't give a hoot about others. That's very nice to say about other people. All right, this time I really am gone. Smell ya. Again, I don't want you to smell me. That's kind of weird.